Hey yo, what's up guys, it's uh, Mr. Degree here and I'm gonna be doing a much much more in-depth tutorial of how to install the ELS for 5M. Um, so I've been getting quite a few people wondering how to install and how to actually completely install it, especially with the few changes that I did do with the, with the mod. Um, but we're just going to start from the beginning, so to start off, uh, here is my FX server, completely blank, no ELS to it, nothing at all. Um, we're just going to go ahead and start running that though, that way that's done. Also another way to prove that ELS 5M did not load. Um, Alright, and then let's, let's start getting my game going. So, first step you're going to want to do get .mrdegree.com. And I got to sign in. <laughs> a little embarrassing, but I mean, alright. Remember me, even though it's incognito and it does not matter at all. You'll end up going to, to this link right away from Discord. There's a link posted in devlog for it. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, uh, with the features of the most recent stuff I've been putting out along with the Canary Client stuff, um, I'm going to be switching over to development. But if you want the most stable release, stick with Master, as that's going to be the the one with the fewest problems of them all. But after you're here, either version you're on, go ahead and download. I'm gonna go for a zip. And I think we're done with that. So after that, we can go to my downloads. And we're just gonna extract it. So after extracting, You'll end up getting a folder and that's awfully named and very stupid. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it does this, but for best results, name it US 5M. Um, that's the first name I had with the resource, so it's just what's well, recommended, I guess. Um, so, yeah. After that, just well, I'm gonna copy it for the sake of having another copy. But after that, th that's pretty much all the steps of EOS. The next few things is just configuration stuff. Um, so for all the vehicle files, so whenever you download a vehicle from LSPDFR or other places that are for EOS. You'll get the XML for it. All the XMLs go in this uh, VCF folder uh, for vehicle configuration file. And then after you do that, you open the config.lua. And we're just going to get rid of these. And then for that, you just list them all off right in here. So let's say I have another vehicle for. Uh, FBI 2 and I have a XML in here for FBI 2 I'm gonna go ahead in here I'm gonna FBI 2 XML and there we go there's FBI 2 would be installed if I had it uh, if I had the XML for it um, I'm just gonna quickly cover the configuration file real quick here um, so if you're running Canary Client up here, this is going to be for things like the vehicle repair with the... Most people don't realize that the vehicle repair causes the door glitching, but the door glitching... Um, if you enable this and all of the clients that connect on your server are running the Canary Client, the it's like the beta version of 5M, um, it'll be able to have the vehicle fix in it. The pattern files is just for um, 
more patterns. I'll probably end up making another video on making a pattern actually. Um, then the next thing is models with traffic visor. Currently in this version of the development, uh, the, the, the dev version of uh, 5 ELS for 5M, traffic, vi traffic advisors are rather bugged, but it works the exact same way as models with uh, the fire truck horn and uh, ambulance warning. So say I have FBI 2 again that I want to have the traffic visor working, I just FBI 2. There you go. FBI 2 would then have tra traffic advisors enabled. Then after that, um, if you want fire truck horns on any vehicles, put it in here. Same goes for ambulance warning. Um, then stage 3 with siren. This one, the moment you get to stage 3, if this is true, it will turn on your siren to the main main portion. Since I currently have it false, it's gonna not turn on the siren when I go to stage three. We will, um, I guess we can experiment some more with this too, uh, once we actually get in game. But then, play button presses. So any button press, pretty much, in changing from patterns to changing your stage it's gonna play a press noise um, kind of like the actual VOS for was PDFR and GTA and then the next thing vehicle stage 3 advisor this is for vehicles if you want to have uh, at traffic advisors on on stage 3 so uh, the reason why I implemented this was for CHP vehicles uh, they don't have overlapping traffic advisors with their uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but the light bar on top I guess that is what you call it um, Then vehicle sync distance basically how close you have to be to a vehicle in order for the lights and environment stuff to start flashing and then environment light brightness uh, that's just how bright the light that's going to surround your vehicle would be so now that we kind of covered this um keys if you want different keys uh we can go it's just a simple link i'll probably end up throwing it in discord and video link but say i want a different key I scroll down to the key i want um all these keys can be rebound so this is what the key is and what it re represents so if someone rebinds this input vehicle attack key it's not going to be left mouse button it could be something completely different to their liking but it's still going to be 69 so i guess let's uh let's actually get into the server um since i started the server before eos was on uh here I'm just gonna start. Actually, I'm gonna have to restart. Restart US 5M. Ah, oh, shit. I do have to start US as 5M. You know what? <laughs> Let, let's just <laughs> restart it all. Alright, and then when EOS does load correctly, you'll see it loading vehicles and then the patterns. And then after all that, it's going to show what version you're on, the newest version, and if you're up to date or if you're not. Um, there is a command, EOS update. It will completely update your uh, version of EOS to the very newest one. But currently, we're already on the newest, so it's pointless. So let's go ahead and connect to my local host. Wait for all this to go through. I am running vehicle damage, uh, realistic vehicle damage, or whatever the heck it is. Um, so I'll kind of give you an example of what it would be without 
canary client and then with the canary client <sighs> uh, so this loading screen is from a very very old community I used to run if uh, any of you will caring this is just a messy dev server bunch of broken not entirely working things but I mean it it works for development purposes um, so yeah just wait here I don't actually have a uh, video editing software so I'm literally just gonna do this all in one cut mostly because I'm a little lazy to uh, to edit and would like to keep developing um, so let's go ahead vehicle that I have that's ELS if we go back to my folder ELS 5M to my vehicle configuration files we'll see that police 2 is indeed a uh, ELS vehicle so I'll go ahead and spawn police 2 and if your vehicle loads correctly you'll end up seeing the panel down in the bottom right and currently the lights turn on sometimes depending on vehicle meta stuff but if you just go ahead and cycle through them they'll end up turning off but basically that's it for installing ELS 5M I'm now just gonna go through kinda show some more of the options and stuff in the configuration file um, so to start, I'm going to go with, I think this one's config, no, that's not the config, this one is config, the canary client option we're going to go through first, because this is a big deal for everyone, um, I have realistic, um, uh, vehicle, whatever the heck it is, um, so kind of give you an example of that and it working, if I, Ram into that, my car starts smoking and I am currently disabled. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm actually gonna start lights. You'll see it completely fixed my vehicle and I am uh, good as new. So basically with the canary client thing, if we true and then restart US 5 of them. So we start. Basically, what this allows us to do is take that same ramming motion, ram into there, be completely disabled, can't move. You can hear me uh, spamming my keys. But if I turn on my lights, still disabled, and doors also open correctly. At least on your side, there's still currently a bug where it will uh, do the whole weird uh, uh, open and close thing for other people. I'm sorry, I'm kind of losing my train of thought here. Um, so next option, vehicle traffic advisors. I can't show you this one as this vehicle does not have a traffic advisor. But I will show uh, environment lighting brightness as so this is something that may or may not be wanting to change. So currently it's set to 0.2. So this is 0.2. It's fairly bright. I mean, it, it probably could be fairly bit dimmer too. But if I go ahead and save, I don't want to purchase that. Reload again there it's you can see that uh, my lights are now much much brighter and this is completely personal preference of like what you want and how to do it um, then the next thing is vehicle sync distance I keep it at 150 because that is I'm gonna say from about the where I'm at currently to like a little bit past that second stoplight um I mean just give you an 
an example we'll uh, start this up then we'll hop in a another one I don't want another Taurus so oops might also help if I can spell right Chef 2 wait for that but if we just drive down here and as you can see from the bright lights it's still sinking and I think yeah here it stops so if I back up ever so slightly right there it strikes so that's like a block and a half or so that it will uh, sink and this is great for lower end uh, PCs and uh, performance wise as you can see I am getting 30 ish frames in the city which honestly is quite well especially with EOS vehicles running but basically that, that's installed that is how simple it is installed there's no messiness to it uh, all your vehicles can get put in one stream folder and you can stream it all in one separate one single folder you don't have to have them in a bunch of different folders to sync and have us in uh different folders so i guess if you guys have any questions just feel free to put them in discord i'll end up leaving uh, another video maybe another 30 minutes or so after this one on uh, a bit more detail of patterns and how you can go about making your own so until then Thank you guys so much for downloading EOS and supporting me this way and like helping me get to where I am now. I'm absolutely grateful for it and I'm so thankful for everyone uh, contributing in some way, um, whether that's breaking my script uh, or just being a tester and helping me out that way. So take care. Um, I'll see you later.